Hey guys, it's Ariba and I'm back with another tutorial finally. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install and style Halo extensions. So my extensions are from Luxie Hair and I'm going to show you guys all of the goodies that they sent. So I know a lot of you guys probably think I'm absolutely crazy for wearing hair extensions when I have so much hair, but I like wearing hair extensions for length, not necessarily for fullness. Um, so I ordered the 20 inch uh, balayage uh, in off black. So it basically kind of is the closest match that I could get to my hair. I had dyed my hair black a few months ago and my older blonde is starting to kind of fade on the ends and I decided not to cover it up because it's giving me kind of like a natural kind of uh, balayage vibe and I think it looks really pretty. So these halo extensions are basically one weft and they have this kind of see-through elastic right up top and then they also have the clips uh, for extra reinforcement. And they're just so nice and easy and comfortable to wear. I prefer halos over um, any other kind of extensions only because A, it's just one piece in and out, and B, because I can take it off at the end of the night and I don't have to worry about sleeping with them in my hair. This set actually comes with a couple of extra wefts. Um, and these are kind of nice for like the hairline and the sides just to give it that extra fullness so that your hair extensions blend. And then we also have a few extra goodies here. We have this hair extension brush, uh, which is a really cool detangler. The teeth on here are kind of looped. They're not like a perfect line. So these are really great for hair extensions. Um, they're a really like kind of gentle detangler. I actually use a, a similar detangling brush for my kids because it doesn't hurt as much. And then we also have our hanger and our bag for basically like overnight storage. So I'll show you really quickly how to use this. You basically just bend this down and that opens up the hanger and then you just kind of slide your weft in like so and then you pop it closed again and then just kind of snap it and that holds um, your weft in place and then you can just kind of put it into the bag and like so. So I would just zip that up and then we have like a nice little storage bag for our hair extensions, which is like really awesome, especially if you're like even traveling with your hair extensions. And then we also have this um, extension holder. So you basically pop this onto like your washroom wall um, against your tile and you can just pop your hair extensions right into that and it'll help hold your hair extensions in place while you're styling them so this is a really cool kind of gadget to have so the very first thing that i like to do when i'm styling my hair extensions is style my own hair so i washed my hair yesterday and i basically gave myself like a rough flat brush blowout just to kind of um, smooth out all of my curls so you can see it's not styled perfectly at all um, so we're gonna actually go in and style it with a wand today because i want to get create some really nice like sexy long waves with my hair extensions, which is usually the case when you're wearing your hair extensions, you want that like big, sexy, you know, bombshell hair. So we're actually gonna just go ahead and start at the bottom and work our way up very quickly. So I already have some thermal protector in my hair, um, so it's ready to go. And I'm going in with a one inch wand, okay? You can go in bigger or smaller if you like, it doesn't matter, it just depends on the amount of curl that you wanna create. And because it's a one inch wand, I'm gonna take one inch section and I'm gonna go in closest to my root and as I'm wrapping it, I'm giving it a gentle twist. So you wanna make sure that you hold the ends out and when the section is too hot to touch, that's when you know that it's done and you can just release. Okay, so since I did this section back, I'm gonna do the next section forward. Okay, so that's basically what we're creating, this kind of alternating curl, and we're gonna do the entire head this way. This is a technique that I learned in hair school, and it's one of the most efficient ways to create tons and tons of movement in your hair. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing the pieces around your face, that you always curl these back away from your face, and then you alternate after that. So this first piece, we're gonna wrap it back. And then when you release, just kind of hold it in the palm of your hand for a second, just so it kind of cools down and then you can kind of release. 
If your hair doesn't hold curl well at this point when you're cupping it, um, just to kind of let it cool down for a couple of seconds, spray it with a light hold hairspray. That'll help your curls last longer. So for this top part here, um, if you like to kind of flip your hair around everywhere, at this point you would curl everything back. Okay, um, but if you have a specific parting, this is where you would go ahead and create that parting. I'm actually in the mood to create a really strong center part today, um, only because I haven't really done it in a while. Um, I'm usually a hair flipper, but today I kind of want a defined center parting. And as always, I'm gonna curl the piece closest to my hairline back away from my face, cup it in my hands for a few seconds before I release. And then we're just gonna continue to alternate back and forth after that. These curls will eventually turn into more of a wave and they'll pretty much last all week. Okay, so I'm gonna let these uh, curls and waves kind of do their own thing. I'm not going to open them up right now. You'll see when I'm installing the hair extensions that they'll kind of open up on their own. So I don't need to go out of my way to shake these out right now. So we're gonna let these hang and we're gonna go ahead and curl our hair extensions. So I'm actually gonna curl everything on my actual hanger today. So I'm gonna very quickly um, just kind of brush it out, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did on our own hair. We're gonna alternate the curls back and forth. So normally I style these in my washroom and I'll hang this on my yeah. towel rack and just quickly style them. Uh, but I'm not in my washroom right now and I have nothing to hang it on, so Ken's gonna help me. Um, he's gonna hold it for me. This is his favorite part of life. He loves this stuff. Assistant data to the rescue. <laughs> Anytime you're applying heat to your hair extensions, you want to keep the temperature of your hot tool under 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 120 degrees Celsius. And you want to treat them just as you would your own hair and make sure you apply your thermal spray. And you can see I'm curling them back and forth just as I did my own hair and they look really, really good. Oh, me an arm. <laughs> he was complaining about his arm hurting the whole time. Boy, I did a whole head. So now that these are curled, you can give these a quick um, spritz of hairspray if you like. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and install these and it's really, really easy to install these. So the reason they're called halo extensions is because they have this kind of halo attached to them, okay? So in order to install this perfectly, we're going to go ahead and create a halo on the top of our head. And if you need to adjust your halo, you can do that by kind of undoing this uh, wire and tightening it or loosening it um, to fit your crown specifically. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go about an inch and a half uh, to two inches behind our parting or our hairline. And we're going to create a halo of our entire crown and this doesn't need to be perfect uh, but it needs to be somewhat kind of um, symmetrical so once we have our halo we're gonna kind of gently roll it up without um, sacrificing our curls that we just created so I'm just gonna kind of roll it gently so I don't want this to be clipped too tightly because I don't want to undo all of those curls that I just created now I'm gonna take this see-through kind of wire and we're gonna kind of install it into um, the halo that we just created and now I'm going to secure the two clips at the back of my head please do not skip this step guys this is going to make sure that your halos stay in place so once that's installed nice and secure um, we're gonna just go ahead and undo our clip up top and you'll see when you let go that it is nice and kind of full and I have a couple of inches of more length so at this point if you feel like you have some gaps around your hairline you can go ahead and install these side pieces. I feel like my extensions are actually blending beautifully. Um, so I don't need these at all today. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of shake them out a little bit so that they look a lot fuller and a little bit more natural. You can brush these out if you want as well. 
And this is the final result. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will leave the direct link for all of the hair extensions and products that I use down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.